Okay, so the way it works is, um, I think he told me y'all had like a group of 10, is that correct? Seven? Okay, that actually works out better for me because with 10, I needed two boats and right now I just have one captain available Sunday. So that actually works out perfect. So for Sunday night, uh, we can definitely do that. We can put all y'all on, uh, put all you guys on one boat. Uh, it'd be 225 a person. Uh, the trip will last about four to five hours. We'll supply all the equipment. Uh, you'll have a deckhand on the boat with you guys. Um, if y'all have never done it before, he's going to show y'all how to shoot before you leave the dock. Uh, he'll ice your drinks down for you uh, in the boat. The boats have built-in ice chest. Uh, he'll help you spot fish. And at the end of the night, he'll clean bag and ice the fish down for you. Uh, my big boat's available that night, and I can do all y'all on one boat. It's a 24 uh, foot long by nine and a half wide, and it's all decked over. Our airboats don't have like a rake on them. It's all deck. This segment of Bowfishing Unlimited is brought to you by JL Audio, ahead of the curve. Tonight we got our two uh, top deck hands. We're gonna do a little competition. We got Aaron on my right, Daryl on the left. Uh, whoever shoots the least amount of fish tonight is going to get thrown in when we hit the dock. So uh, stay tuned and see who gets thrown in the water. Who's going to win? Me. Daryl's going to win. Daryl's going to swim. 100 bucks on Daryl. Daryl's going to win. 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 I'm on my mission, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get it twisted. Uh. I'm on my mission, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get it twisted. Uh. I'm 
on my mission, oh yeah, 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 yeah. New rebels, new rebels, we the new rebels. New rebels, new rebels, we the new rebels. They be saying good is bad, they be saying bad is good. Everybody got it misunderstood. Get to slipping, seem like everybody switching. Everybody get to going off the deep end. Off. They was doing good until the weekend. They, they ain't hit the floor with the knee bend. Oh, no. They was going strong but had a weekend. No, no. I to the truth. I to the truth. Say what's good is good. What's good is good. What's bad is bad. What's bad is bad. I to the truth. I to the truth. Tonight we had a little competition between two of our finer deckhands who was going to shoot the most fish and believe it or not they tied so uh, I guess really the only thing is, is one person's got to win one person's got to lose right yeah so uh <laughs> This segment of Bowfishing Unlimited is brought to you by Sea Light, the most trusted light by Bowfishing Pros. So a big part of running multiple boats is the maintenance. You know, every 25 hours we change the oil in the boat. Um, you know, the grease, all the barrens. We try to spray all the boats down with W40 after each trip because these boats, you know, everything is, is salt water out here. So, you, you know, rust is a huge, huge factor down here. Um, a lot of the smaller things that'll break, we could switch parts out and all that, we'll do that at the camp. If it's something a little bit more major, where we have to pull the engine or whatever, we have a warehouse about an hour from the camp that we'll, we'll bring it over there. Um, we'll pull the cage off, pull the motor, do an engine swap. So there's a lot of behind the scenes, you know, people just think, you know, they're, they're handing you this money to fish for four hours, but, you know, as, as anyone knows, just owning one boat is very challenging and expensive, much less a few boats with other people running it for a commercial business. So last night, we, uh, we ran up north, we went boat fishing, had a great time. We, uh, we ended up maybe 25 reds came in with well we had about one five or six foot garfish yeah a little small we had a couple five or six sheep in and now we're gonna head out and do some rod drill fish and hopefully uh catch some back with trout and uh lose some american red fish <laughs> so uh maybe even come by a bull red so we'll see what happens
This segment of Bow Fishing Unlimited is brought to you by Gator Coolers. Cold-blooded at its core. We had an impact, we could probably tighten it down like we would need it. Paul Ryan, he said he'd be here about 7.30. He, he might have an impact. Might have to use a wrench to cheat it. Put a big wrench, a wrench right there, Jim. You got a big one? Yeah. We all stood outside the boat. Everybody <laughs> waiting. <laughs> Tonight's uh, night two. Uh, we ride real fish all day. We got on some really nice speckled trout. We probably ended up with about 50 trout. Um, we got a little bit of a different group tonight. So we're gonna have another competition. Uh, Ryan, Aaron, Daryl, Jimmy. So basically whoever shoots the most fish gets to push the rest of the group over. So we uh, oh, yeah. looking forward to that when we get in. All three of y'all must win. <laughs> Who's winning? Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> it's for the victory lap, though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before. Lit the room when I came through the front door. Ask me if I should suffer, come. What for? Train in the trees, please. Cross lands and still me sure, sure seasons in the year. Yeah, ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yep, the champ is here. Switch gears with the three haters in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears, and my goal so near. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day, we break through. It's a day, we break through.
But that's not by speculation But the position that I got I climb too high to fall Way too hard to drop Stop clocks on the speed bag Every yell under pressure, no jet lag This is greater than trophies and saluted flags Titles of fame, the cost is paid Yay, I, I, I carry the cross I made Deal with the dealer Baby, the hand was played New level, next stage Learn to lead as a legend Now tell me what's my next stage Yay, I said the champ is here Swiss gears We keeping haters in the rear At the blood, sweat and tears in my gold Jimmy definitely going swimming. Hey, I got disqualified. <laughs> Almost. Everybody come this way, huh? Yeah, I think we stopped it. Oh, you look at him. Look at him. Tough. So last night we uh, we ran up north. We were able to get on a few redfish. We, I think we came back with about 25 silver reds, a couple of sheep had. Um, stayed out there a little bit longer than we wanted to. Got home late. We actually left out this morning around what 9:30, 10 o'clock. Uh, called Captain Ryan. He was on a good trout bite, so we ran out to four body pass. Got on some nice trout. We probably. 40, 50 trout, and um, just worked out good. You know, it was nice that it, that it worked out that way. And then tonight, uh, we actually had a cancellation. Captain Jimmy was fishing with Daryl, and um, you know, the crew didn't show up, so we actually put together a nice little trip tonight. We decided to go south, which typically holds bigger fish, and um, you know, it worked out. The boat, the boat ran good, and. The fish were there, and uh, a bunch of good shooters. We had a good time. Um, so, like I said, it's, it was a great time. You know, I think everybody. Oh yeah. You know, we were kind of we've been doing this a long time, and everybody had a great time doing it. So. All right. So this is uh, night two. Obviously, we had a little competition. We had Aaron, Jimmy, Ryan, and Daryl. Uh, Daryl won last night. Tonight was a little bit different. Aaron kind of brought his game on, so it's a close race. <laughs> Very tight. Basically, whoever shot the most fish gets to stay dry. Everybody else has to go in. Ready? No. <laughs> I forgot I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> 